Hi everyone and welcome back to some more civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off and maybe move away with the Inquisitor because I don't want him to get killed by the Roman Apostles. And it looks like we can actually go through here with our privateer, that's nice. Let's see how far we can get with him. So, what about the settler? Should we move or stay here? I wouldn't mind moving one tile in this direction, although... This isn't a bad location, we'll get the crab, we'll get the stone, we'll get the deer, and one more crab to the east. Yeah, we'll get both in range. This is actually fine, so let's get the city started. Alright, and let's have a look. What do we want to work? Probably the nighter to get at least one hammer. And build, what do we want to build? We don't need a granary just yet. Monument or water mill for at least plus one production. Yeah, I suppose that will be slightly better. Alright then. We could actually just buy it. How expensive would that be? Let's have a look. Probably really damn expensive. We need... well, not that much actually. Okay. I'm reconsidering it. Let's switch to monument then. And we'll consider just buying a windmill or water mill, I mean. Alright, so research. What do we want next? Probably economics. That was kind of the point of building two banks for the boost. Alright, sounds good. Also, the next great merchant is actually quite nice. But I don't think I'll be able to get him. Plus 25% tourism rate towards other civilizations you have trade route to. But England is getting 9 points per turn and we are only getting 6.3. Which means England will probably get that one. And Corinth, what else do we want here? We should probably build the Acropolis. But there's no good tile for it. It would have to be without a bonus. Or we could build more ships, that's also not a bad idea. Or we could build the Great Lighthouse. That's only 12 turns. Let's build the Great Lighthouse. However, the problem is that we would have to remove the crab. Yeah, it has to be adjacent to a harbor district with a lighthouse. So I would have to remove the crab or the whales or fish. I don't think I want to do that. No, I do not want to do that. Okay, let's grab a frigate, perhaps. I think so. Ironclad. Let's get a frigate, why not? That's 280 production. Alright, done. And our other city. We still need more traders. But I think that can wait. Let's have a look. Industrial zone, 37 turns. That is a lot of turns. Plus one. Not amazing. What if we get an encampment? No, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Water mill. And back to our crossbowmen. Let's take a look around. We found a city state. Nice. Trigger inspiration for capitalism. And another city-state, center trade route. I don't think we'll be doing that. What's the inspiration for capitalism? Let's have a look. Build free stock exchanges. I suppose we can do that, but not yet. And we got some envoys. Let's have a look. Hatusa. We could get the bonus from that one. Not right now, but after the next wave of envoys. Vilnius. What are the unique bonuses in here? Your light and heavy cover units have plus 5 strength when fighting on hill tiles, okay? When you enter a new era, earn one random inspiration from that era. Oh, that's really nice, actually. I like that one a lot. Your districts on or next to coast tiles provide plus two culture. That one is also pretty nice. But we would need to get six envoys. 
and Hatosa provides us with one strategic resource that we revealed but do not own. Okay then. Do we want Kabul? Well, perhaps. That's double experience from battles we initiate. Might not be worth it. Let's get science in our capital. Actually, let's just work on Hatosa. I like science bonuses. So, done. And next turn. Mobilization is almost done. So that will save us some gold. Because this is basically a better version of a policy that we are already using. What's going on? So what can we do with that Inquisitor? Probably just save him for now. Because there's not a whole lot we can do. Let's just save him for now. And keep exploring. See what we can find. More antiquity signs. That's always good. More amenities. Yes, we know. And we lost Zanzibar again. That is getting really annoying. Someone wants Zanzibar really badly. Let's have a look. Who is it? It's Rome. Alright. Well, I might just let them have it. What about the spy? What can we do? Increases diplomatic visibility. Get some gold. We already have the gain sources boost. We could try to get some gold. Gain the gold yields during this mission's duration. Plus 252. Let's give it a shot. Why not? And keep exploring. I'm sure we can find some more city-states. Scythia pillaged enemy workshop with a horseman. And a trade route. Production in Athens? Probably, to speed up the Bolshoi theater. Plus four hammers is the best we can do, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's the best we can do. Or we could go for an international trade route. With Rome, for example. Toronto. I'm not convinced. Plus two hammers, plus six gold. Oh yeah, London is plus three hammers, plus twelve gold, and so on. Okay, we'll go for that one. And production, again. Let's have a look. Workshop, we still need a workshop. And let's keep exploring. Yeah, this is the continent. Yep, that's the continent Norway is on. Unless it's a really big island, but at this point I don't think this is an island. There's no way, this has to be the second continent. Wow, that's a lot of resources in one spot. Yeah, there are a lot of really nice city locations around here. I would like to get at least some of them. Definitely this one. And the Dead Sea. In order to rally people, and we finish mobilization. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. Alright, so we will swap the policy, because the previous one just became obsolete. There we go, that will save us quite a lot of gold. And we can always use gold. Alright, and let's keep exploring. There's some coal over here, but we already have coal. And a lot more antiquity sites. And what do we want next? Let's just get naval tradition. That's only one turn. And while we don't really need it, it's only one turn, so we might as well get it. And Zo, we need Zo. Wait, hold on, in this city? No. In the other one. Where's the entertainment complex for this city? There's no fast way to find it, or is there? That's the Acropolis, so where the heck is the entertainment district? I'm actually not sure anymore. Which one is it? Actually, we can do something like this. Yeah, it's right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Okay, that is still in range. I guess we should build that zoo, actually. We'll have five cities in range. Alright, it will take a while, but... Fine. 
Oh yeah, more units. The builder, right. Improve the stone, obviously, and then improve the other stone. And maybe buy some of these tiles. Because we won't get that many. We should definitely buy the cattle. If we can afford it. Which we probably can't, at least not yet. We could get that 20% discount for tile purchases, but it's not worth it. It won't save us that much gold. So... Right, we can't improve it on this turn. What do we want next? I'm leaning towards conservation to get the naturalist. I think so. One copy of strategic resource allows you to produce and purchase units requiring it in any city, right? Because otherwise you need two if you don't have an encampment district. Scorched Earth. I don't think we need that right now. Oh, yeah, settler cost reduced by 50% and plot purchase cost reduced by 20%. That one isn't bad, but I think I'll go for conservation. To try the naturalist. Sure, let's do that. I don't think we'll have a neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal. Is the one we started building breathtaking? I don't think this one was breathtaking. Yeah, I think it was just charming. Alright, I mean, that's fine. We'll just wait nine turns. And let's buy these tiles. Can we afford it right now? No, we need 270 gold to get the other one. Okay, I guess we'll wait. Granary. And Envoy. So, we'll get Hatosa. And then the other one. I mean, we could try to get Zanzibar back, but Rome seems really determined. So let's go... Oh yeah, we only got one. Apparently. Alright, never mind. I was going to get the science. And we met Congo. Right, embassy. Can we not send embassy? Apparently not. Okay. Yes, we already know you're here. You are a little bit late with the introduction, I'm just saying. So where is he exactly? Right here. Okay then. Religious conversion. I don't think we'll be doing that. I assume that means convert the city-state. So now we can have a chat with Congo. And now we can establish an embassy. Because why not? Can we also get open borders? Yes, we can. Let's just stay friendly with Congo. Alright, hold on. What's his agenda? I don't remember what it was. Like civilizations that bring religion to Congo. Oh yeah, right. I remember. And what's his hidden or not so hidden agenda? Tries to have the highest overall population, respects other high population civilizations, so he should like us. Also, we can see all the hidden agendas now, so let's maybe take a look. City-state protector. Okay. Admires civilizations that start protectorate wars. Dislikes civilizations that attack city-states. We never attacked city-states, so yeah. This one is still hidden. Okay, German one is still hidden, because we have to send a spy. Money grabber. Tries to have the highest gold per turn income. Respects other high income civilizations, okay? And right, Norway's agenda is still hidden. And Rome. Clears all features and improves all possible tiles. Likes civilizations with a high percentage of improved tiles. Dislikes civilizations with low percentage of improved tiles or that found national parks. So he will dislike us if we found national parks. Okay, I mean, that's not going to stop me. So whatever. It's not like he really likes us right now. He's kind of neutral. But Norway likes us. You and I come by road and we got rail, economics. But economists travel on infrastructure. So that unlocks the big man, which is a really interesting wonder. It doubles your current treasury. And also plus one economic policy slot, which is always nice to have. 
and another trader. Let's just trade with Germany a bit. Because why not? As for our research, let's have a look. Power plant. Bonus extends to each city center within six tiles. Yes, I would like that. Ten turns on three privateers. We will not own three privateers, but that is fine. Let's go for electricity then. Sounds good? Let's. Our city is starving. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Is it really starving? Doesn't look like it. It has one food surplus. So I don't know what you're talking about. Another quarry. And let's keep exploring a bit. And we found another city-state, Yerevan. Trigger Eureka for radio. And what is Eureka for radio? Let's have a look. Oh, build a national park. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to do it. We need eight more turns to finish conservation. I'm a little bit surprised Congo didn't expand more. But alright. I mean, I guess this is Prince. We'll expand instead. The industrial heart of oh, and we finished the wonder. Stopped beating. Hardly anyone worked. Hardly anything ran. The population of the Ruhr area had to be supported by the rest of the country. So that's the Ruhr Valley. Plus 30% production in the city and plus one production for each mine and quarry in the city. Very nice wonder. And that gives us Eureka. Okay then. And what do we want next? What's our production in here now? 48. And in Athens? 44. So this is now our highest production city. Let's have a look. We should actually grab a builder, I think. Yep, to get even more production. Just to maximize it. And what else? Military engineer. Let's grab at least one. And maybe we can build some forts. And we found Japan. Nice. I think that's the last sieve. Or is it? No, it's not. There's one more. Okay, then. Oh yeah, America. We've not made contact with America. Right. Okay, then. I'm sure we'll find them soon enough. And open borders. Sounds good. And what's his agenda? Explorer. He should like us then. So, we need to wait a little bit longer to get the cattle, but I would like to get that before England does, you know. And we'll improve it immediately after. Workshop is almost done. We are doing quite well. Still 18 turns to finish Bolshoi Theater. He didn't like our operations. Ignore this request. I don't care about what he has to say. Spy captured. That's not good. But oh well. We'll get another. And we got a great person. Let's move the privateer first. Which one is it? Oh yeah, the great engineer instantly builds a factory and a workshop in this district. Factories provide plus two production. That is quite nice. Permanent plus two production. Now, where are we going to use him? Let's see, we need an industrial zone without a workshop. So, let's have a look. We'll just check districts. Or at least one without a factory. Not sure if we have anything like that. Okay, we don't have a factory here. So I suppose we could use him there. We also don't have a factory in this one. Just a workshop. And these are the only options from the looks of it. I suppose that's fine. We'll get a factory for free. I am more than okay with this. 
Yep, let's do that. That's fine. Done. Great person activated. And what is our next production going to be? There's the factory. So, let's see. We should probably get a spy. Yep. And... 155 turns. That is a lot of turns. We will not be building that here. For obvious reasons, I think. I'm actually leaning towards building a campus. I would have to buy a tile to maximize it, however. Holy site, plus three. That is not bad. It's mostly because of the natural wonder. I think we'll get a holy site. What else can we do? We could recruit some units, but that would take a pretty long time. A little bit too long, perhaps. Industrial zone, 37 turns. There's no good location for it other than this one. You know what? Let's actually build an industrial zone. Yes, it will take a while, but it will improve production in here. And we need more production. The district cost is getting pretty high, as you can see. So that's the limiting factor to spamming a lot of cities everywhere. As for the builder, yeah, we should improve the niter. We are getting niter because of the city-state, but I'd like to get my own source. Actually, no, we are not getting it because we are not the suzerain. Right, okay. Carry on, then. Toronto has been defeated. Where was Toronto again? Right here. So Scythia actually took Toronto. How long did that take her? Quite long. But hey, grads, go you. And there's the cattle. Improve that immediately. Alright, looking good. And improve the niter. There we go, we got it. And that gives us a boost to rifling. Which is a nice side effect. Why did you not kill the barbarians? What the heck? Alright, I guess we can help him a bit. What's this supposed to be? A barbarian battering ram, alright. And more production. I think we need another Inquisitor. We still got this one, but he only has one more use. Convert. And let's see. We still got the Apostle, but I'm keeping him for theological combat. Because of his promotion. What is it? Right here. Plus 20 religious strength in theological combat. In fact, I guess we could attack that Roman Apostle. Maybe not on this turn, but soon. So, you know what we need? We need... Archaeologists. We can start some archaeologists in the Ruhr Valley city. That was generally the plan. And that is still the plan. Let's grab a builder. And I think that's that. Alright, next. I would still like to settle at least this city. Because this looks so good. And we'll need a lot of archaeologists. There are a ton of antiquity sites that we can get. So we better get started. Let's get started then. How many turns do we need? Why is he not here? Oh, do we actually need the museum or something? Or at least the Acropolis? It looks like we do. I mean, that is fine. We can build the Acropolis in four turns. The only problem is that I'll have to remove the copper. I don't really want to do that. But if I don't have a choice, I guess I will. That is slightly unfortunate. We could build it here, right? We just have to buy that tile. I think that's correct. 270 gold. Yeah, we can use other tiles, we just have to buy them. Which right now we cannot do. Alright, fine. Let's build something else then. And there's the military engineer. So he can build a fort, which is plus 4 defense strength for occupying unit, and fortification bonus applied to occupying unit. 
we can build an airstrip, which is an airbase with free slots for aircraft, and we can build a road. So what do we want then? It might be a good idea to build a fort, let's say over here. It's not a terrible location for it, in fact, it's a pretty damn good location for it. Alright, we can do that. And amphitheater, probably. As for Ephesus... Well then, armory. I suppose we can get an armory. Fine, only three turns. 14 turns to finish Bolshoi Theater. That will still take a while. And let's improve our production a bit. So first of all, we should improve the copper. I'm not going to help Japan too much because there's no incentive. There's actually a goodie hut over here. This close to the Japanese capital, really? What the heck, Japan? What have you been doing for the past 240 turns? So, Roman Apostle. Well, let's move towards him, why not? And we could actually start converting some of the Spanish cities, for example. They already have our religion to some extent. Or English cities. We could start converting more aggressively. Nice settler, Germany. He denounced us. I don't think we care all that much. Yes, we occupy one of their cities. Tell me something new. You are only 150 turns late. My seas are just fine, thank you. For your concern. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I don't care. So, trade route again. From Corinth. Maybe we should give one of our other cities some production. Speed up that industrial zone. Yeah, let's do that. We'll speed it up. I don't think Corinth needs production as much anymore. It definitely does not. And Apostle. Let's attack one of the Roman Apostles. Why not? I don't want them here. And what's the outcome? Yeah, he took quite a lot of damage there. And I'm actually going to make a cut here, continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.